The community aspect of our name, the Community Foundation for McHenry County, says something to the question that you raise. I got involved with the United Way when they solicited us in the employee deduction contribution program that was a main source of their income. And at that time, I got to know John O'Hagan. He had a law degree, uh, but his whole career consisted of being the go-between, uh, between people who had more than they needed and people who had less than they needed. And he said, I am now on the verge of inviting a group in anticipation of my retirement from United Way to suggest the formation of a community foundation in McHenry County which would vastly enlarge this activity that I have been involved in at United Way in a way that was not possible by its very nature. It, it was, its modus operandi was to spend a whole year getting contributions, generally speaking small contributions, and then once a year deciding how to distribute whatever they collected. They couldn't make multi-year commitments because they never knew from year to year how much money they were going to have. They had very limited staff facilities in terms of investigating potential beneficiaries. And in general, they just weren't equipped. I walked into this room and there were these six or seven uh, professionals. They themselves were more or less centers of influence and so to expand that group that's the kind of people we were looking for. We, we really really just centered on that idea of geographical dispersion and I'm not sure that was probably the best way to go. Thereafter focus more on ability and talent and energy than, than um, geography. And that is to provide a, a focal point in a community with some interconnection between the various needs of the community and how they were dealing with them and how in many cases they overlapped and interrelated inefficiently to each other, if at all. And here was a magic answer, but how the hell do you get the thing started? How do you get, how do you do it? That first room was about a 10 by 12 windowless little room uh, next door to the bathroom, down a hallway and around a corner. Grand Victoria had sent out uh, an RFP to energize uh, the community foundation movement in Illinois. And it was at that point that we discovered the possibility, under certain circumstances, that they were in, put themselves in a position to offer counsel and some money to those activities in the state of Illinois who would see fit to organize an endowed foundation. So I invited Chuck to lunch and hit him up for $250,000 and he generously agreed to do that and he said just uh, I'll, I'll run into you at the club and I'll get you the check and I said hell no I'm walking out of this restaurant following you home and getting the check. We sat at, at lunch and explained it to him for an hour and answered his questions and so on and, and at the end of the hour I asked him well Don um, what do you think? And he said, I haven't got the slightest idea what this thing is about. You know, we never got anything in print until we started giving grants and then, then it was easy. When you're giving out money, they pay attention. Once you know, announce your existence, the community helps you to find out where, where and what kinds of activities need some help. The feedback mechanism in the foundation is a crucial function in that it determines it's of the people, by the people, for the people in, in, in the most extreme fashion. 
the input is from the people and the outgo is to the people and you got a few people in between that are, that are extraditing it. In greater detail than any single one of us could do alone, we began to get a profile of the community at large. But we generally feel our, our activities should take care of those activities that public resources are not attending to, which have, as of last year culminated in our actually uh, helping 71 activities in McHenry County in one way or another uh, to uh, help make McHenry County a better place to live.